produced a vital century at the end of the session yesterday. To stay in touch, can the three-time ranking event winner keep it going? Here comes Ricky Walden. His opponent, seated here for the first time in five visits after two decades as a pro, four frames away from a maiden match win on the Crucible stage, international championship finalist this season. Some say there's a passing resemblance between us, so please give it up for the exceptionally handsome Tom Ford. <laughs> To a player. From 16, Ricky Walden to break. So Ricky Walden gets us underway in frame 16, 9 6 behind. Both players operating at 50% with their long pots in this match. Ricky come down the table to have a look where he wants to leave the white. It's one of those instances where you're probably better off not snooking him. If he's snooking, you just roll off into the pack. Ideally, maybe there's merit in giving them the side of the pack to hit. Hopefully they'll open the reds and won't reach the cushion. Is that risky? Give the initiative away. Tom could play a telling safety, but there was no merit in letting Tom just roll into the pack again. Just a couple of shots, even though they've just been safety shots. Tom mishit them. Coming up off the shot a little bit quicker. Get the fact. There weren't any glaring errors from Tom in the last round, but the fact he made a couple of mistakes would certainly give Ricky some hope, encouragement. Yeah, he's just fearful and playing a thick contact on the red, pushing the red to the right corner. Just doesn't want to take any sort of a risk or a gamble. Can't afford it. His next mistake could well be his last one. Two people saying shot because they thought that red was in, but not quite. Close enough, though, to remain right over the hole. Yeah, it's hard in those kind of instances to... You see the potential for danger, but still kind of feel, ah, it'll be OK, I'll get away with it. I'll hardly leave a red on. And the fact he caught the brown as well just magnified it. At least the black has went safe. That helps.
one. Yeah, I think he, that reaction from Thomas, he doesn't want the pink to be able to go on its spot. Wants to have it on the black spot. Sadly for him, Peggy Lee with a little measuring device has confirmed there is room. Yeah, half the width Seven. of the ball marker is the measurement. Again, still okay here for Tom. He can pot this red, get on the black, roll it in and be on the other red. So, one good precise shot. All's oh, not lost. Eight. This is a tricky little one, isn't it? Cut back. I don't think these corner pockets are overly generous. <laughs> Got to be struck cleanly. Yeah, we're looking for pots, not a certainty, but ideally just have to be parallel with the black. Perfect angle to go into the pack then. 16. Maybe got a fraction high. Might have to stun over for the red towards the right hand side. We've seen it bust the pack very impressively a couple of times in this match. Yeah, just didn't have the angle, so try again from this red. If he doesn't have an angle, good chance he might screw up for the blue instead. Yeah, you can see that little reaction there, little tap on the table. It's not quite ideal. He's more or less straight. He's either going to have to be high on the black, difficult shot to pot and go into them, or stop for screwing back and leave an angle on the blue. See there, a slight angle he had. Actually, if he screws back, he's bringing the white ball towards the side cushion. So it might be better to try and come with a black. But oh. Yeah, felt it was worth the risk. Again, tonight he's Five played the four. shot very well. Hit the pink right in the face. his hand up there, didn't catch the pink, full on the face, a glancing blow, that's worked out okay. 29. Okay, and you would have to describe this as Tom's first real good chance to win the match. 30. Again, never having won a match at the Crucible before, he'd be feeling it, just trying to keep as calm as possible. best way for him to keep calm is that the cue ball under control try and make every pot as simple as possible 37 somewhat rueful expression on the face of Ricky Walden who'll feel he's left a few frames out there in this match I'm wondering if he's going to get another chance to keep his hopes alive 38. this will be a big Rubicon to cross for Tom Ford, he's had his best season to date. A big 45. final in China, three other quarter-final appearances, 10th on the one-year ranking list. Testament to his consistency, which 46. is greater than it's ever been. And this is one of those things on the to-do list to tick off, to claim his first crucible victory and get another crack at Judd Trump in round two. Of course, as a seed, has to win his first round match to get any ranking points. If he lost, he has to get £20,000, wouldn't get any ranking points. 
he wins it's thirty thousand pound and points which is added to the considerable 54. amount this season yep you can see his reaction there that's purely just tension on the hit it and these are also encouraging signs for ricky Green ball. Yeah, just got to make sure I'm playing this. They gets the green safe. <coughs> Don't think he can get a great white and a color safe. I think the priority here is get a color safe. Time for 54. Yeah. Opted to try and get an excellent white, but yeah. Looks like Ricky just has at the edge of this red, just past the pink. It's one of those shots, if he just hits the bit he can, it'll be a good safety. Not the most inviting of shots, is it? Very little of that red sticking out. Yeah, I think he's also fearful. It's going to be a thin glance that it's going to push it towards the left corner pocket. Yeah, not nice at all. Very aware that one mistake here and that could be it. Play that any better though. Yeah, again, showed good patience and discipline there, Ricky. He's seen the dangers and playing that red. Just play containing safe, just keeping keeping the frame, keeping the match. Because again, in a couple of shots, there's every chance those reds will be open. And again, Tom may well rue that decision not to put the green on the side cushion. He's never going to be able to snooker Ricky too badly. Again, it's possible if he played it around the angles. That's what he's looking at. Ideally, if he somehow he could play around the angles and get behind the brown, but it was, it was too awkward for that. So close to his first crucible victory, he can almost reach out and touch it, but not there yet. and get in behind the brown. Not sure if Ricky can hit. If he can get past the blue. He can just about, but can he catch a thin enough contact? Doesn't want to push any reds close to corner pockets. Again, having another look at that red. Just very fearful on the contact he's going to get on the red. He's pushing towards the left corner. Yeah, yeah try to play it a little bit harder to try and get the red away from it. 
has left Tom to shut to nothing. Very good. So here's the chance for Tom Ford already. 58 to the good. Time running out on Ricky Walden. The frame before the interval was extremely significant. Yeah, just coming to have a look. Try and leave an angle on the pink. So I'm potting the pink. Five. Yeah, See him coming across, just desperate to have a little bit of an angle. He can pot that, just stun across, and the red beside the pink will be available. <laughs> yeah, you feel that shot is end of the match. Eleven. Tom Ford turn pro. 23 years ago been in four world championships at the Crucible. He's Close. never won a match before, but he's now surely going to do it here. Ricky Walden looking resigned in his chair, and Ford has played extremely well. He's having the season of his life in terms of the consistency he's produced. Another final appearance in China. Lots of deep runs in the ranking tournaments into the top 16 for the first time and now, without a doubt, into the second round at the Crucible for the first time. Yeah, beautiful feeling. Now you've won the match. Mini lap of honour. Feeling very good about himself. A couple of days off. Then getting to play Judd Trump. First time ever to play him. Best of 25 match. 27. This great season continues. Disappointment for Ricky Walden. Battled hard to get back to the Crucible. 34. The first round is where it ends for him. But for Tom Ford, it'll be his third meeting. 35. Here at the World Championship at the Crucible Theatre with Judd Trump. This time over the best of 25 frames for a place in the quarterfinals. And if he can play his A game, he's definitely got a chance. Trump looked very impressive earlier in seeing off Hossein Vafai. 38. But Ford is a threat. He's a heavy scorer. And I think he's possessed of more self-belief than at any other stage of his career. <laughs> 45. 47. And who knows? Could he do a Luca Brassell? Who this time last year had never won a match at the Crucible. Edge past a certain Ricky 50. Walden in a decider, and the rest is history. Tom Ford can certainly take inspiration from the Belgians' extraordinary run to the title. 54. Last year. In the meantime, you can just <laughs> enjoy the moment. Ricky Walden. Offers his hand. Tom Ford breaks new ground. He's won his first match here at the Crucible Theatre at his fifth attempt, and he's through to round two of the World Championship. A deserved victor. He's beaten Ricky Walden by 10 frames to six. Next up, it's the 2019 champion, Judd Trump, for a place in the quarterfinals. Tom Ford, a winner by 10 frames to six. Six years after his first, former Indian Open runner-up, he's ready for a massive session of snooker, and he'll come out here and give it everything. So give it up for China's Liu Heo Chan. <laughs> to 
a class act on and off the bays. Four frames away from a 14th second round appearance. His first 19 years ago led to the title. He finished the session yesterday with a superb century. He's in the mood, he's in the groove, and he's ready to go. He's the magician, Sean Murphy! <laughs> So a full crucible, 10 o'clock on a Monday morning. You can't beat it, can you? Sean Murphy, of course, has tasted success here back in 2005. Three finals since then. He's not won a match, though, since 2021, but he is 6-3 up overnight. If you want to watch the start of Gary Wilson, Stuart Bingham, which promises to be between frames. Thank you. Take your seats quietly, please. Frame 15. Liu Hao Chan to break. So Liu Hao Chan, in very impressive fashion with a century break, has extended the match into at least one more frame. I see no reason why he shouldn't continue to attack from this position, either the red along the cushion or the red above the black, which couldn't have opened everything up. So you can make you a dangerous player, I think, when you're so far behind. Almost playing for pride, or maybe a little bit more than that. But he's not gone in, and Murphy now has this chance. I mentioned that... Uh, I, don't know, I don't think Murphy is... Please he's, keep the uh, noise down, fully thank fit. you. Let's just say that. He, uh, he looked like he's... I think he's got an Achilles problem or something, but whatever it is, I think he's there. So what he wants is this match over what? with and uh, get some rest. Eight. Nine. It's looking at the, the way those reds are placed. They, they're all in quite open spaces with a gap between them all, but they're all uh, blocking each other off a little. There's not an obvious one that you could pot and open up others. So what he does from here... Don't know, he might have to just go into 15. them in some form. May not have the angle there. I think that'll do him. That'll do that double kiss, that's fine. The problem of the configuration of the reds will 22. still come up, but he will take this red and the black first and hope to get an angle on the black. I think you'll be happy enough with that. He played it well. Red to either middle pocket. Thirty. You feel that if the next red goes in, he would be very disappointed if he didn't go on and get the match one. But this red's got to go in first. Yeah. 31. Still got to convert this, but the ball's there. It's been completely opened up, and it could be Lu Hu Shan has played his last shot. It's nice that Lu Hu Shan had that chance to get this century of centuries, but it may not go a lot further on the day.
39. A few reds safe, which is to his advantage, of course, with the lead he's building here. Sean Murphy targets the last 16 spot for the first time in three years. He's got the pedigree, Murphy, we know, to go the distance. OK, 46. it's nearly two decades since he won it, but he's been in three finals since. Most recent was three years ago. 47. His form does seem to come and go, but when it's there, and when the long balls are flying in, when he's confident and he's killing frames off clinically, he's a match for anybody. That was a well-played shot, that last one. 54. Just got in behind the two reds beautifully. 55. And again, such a big area to land the cue ball in. You can uh, completely put this match to bed and uh, I think he'll be happy enough with how he's playing. You know, he's not had any real quality match play. Hushan's come out of the qualifiers and He's just probably in the, the form you'd expect him to be in, his opponent, and uh, he's dispatched him fairly convincingly. A few 70. bumps in the road along the way. He lost two black ball frames, actually. Now, if he won a respot, the other a black ball frame. Otherwise, 71. this could have uh, been an even more convincing victory. Should be over the line now. I think any chance of the comeback really stalled in frame one when Lou Heisher missed that frame ball black. You know, 6-4. I think things could have got awkward, but Murphy, to be honest, has been the better player 77. right from the off yesterday. He's looked the better of the two. It's good to see him back playing some good stuff again. We've not seen as much of him this season, Sean Murphy, as certainly last season when he was winning tournaments. But the season's not over yet, and he's got a meeting now with a very familiar player in the shape of Steve Maguire. They grew up together, those two. And they're going to be clashing cues once 18. again at the Crucible. Well, he'd love to have finished with a century, but 81 will do nicely. So Sean Murphy advances to round two of the World Championship. He resumed leading 6-3 as he acknowledges this crucible crowd. Lou Harshan did make career century number 100 in the previous frame. But...